My name is Jim Howard. I'm the CEO of the Center of Hope Foundation. Well, our first contract was with 10 people with disabilities. We now serve over 700 people and families uh, from 64 towns in Northern Connecticut and in Massachusetts. One of the primary services that the Center Hopes provides is vocational services, which includes training opportunities and work opportunities for people with disabilities. Uh, as part of that vocational service, we have started 15 small businesses, car detailing business, a coffee shop, a landscaping business, a candy store, a banner and sign making business, and many others. Something I like about the Center Hope is the growing and the learning experience of being here and learning and getting new friends and new friendships, stepping out and being not being scared to talk to people and, and being shy. I get to interact with customers from time to time and I've always been someone that's shy so being around the customers it, it means the world to me because I know that we're doing their cars and they trust us to do their cars so I like to deliver for them. One thing I've learned at Hope's Treasures is learn how to help work with customers hands-on. I think if I wasn't working here my life would be a lot different because I wouldn't have the training, I wouldn't have the skills. We all work together, staff and members alike, to make the lives of everyone um, better. And it's rewarding to me to be able to help somebody to know how to appropri appropriately talk to other people and interact. When they started in 1956, people with disabilities were still in institutions. It was thought that they should stay in institutions their whole lives. In the early 1960s, the little small fledgling group was able to secure a building for a few people who kept their children at home and they named it the Center of Hope School. It has grown to become uh, one of the larger employers in the area. So all of the things that we work with um, and work towards uh, are all ways to keep people included in their community so that they can be contributing members of their communities as well. In addition to our vocational programs, we have day habilitation services. These services provide skill training, community activities, volunteerism, nursing services, occupational therapy, physical therapy, and a whole range of services. My son's name is Ryan. Um, he's 27. He's very assaultive. He hits. It got better as he got the program because people were more apt to deal with this. Ryan very rarely laughs, but he laughs now. I'd say a lot more than he ever used to when he was in school. I think to him, program feels like family. My name is Awilda, but I am Carlos's mother. Carlos is in the Center of Hope they have program, and he have a one-on-one -on -one because of safety needs. So they work a lot in um, teaching him how to be safe out in the community. Last summer, we were in Boston, and um, I was going to cross the street and he actually hold me and said, careful mom, there was a car coming. First people who went, who've never been exposed to people with disabilities, they come in with a preconceived idea of maybe somebody they've seen in the community somewhere else or, or maybe just something that they've read or they've never thought about it at all. People come here and they don't realize how capable our folks are. We have people who are very capable and can be out in the community working at their uh, sites of business as well. Our goal for our individuals is that they will have the most meaningful lives possible, that they can have meaningful work opportunities, that they can have meaningful relationships, and that they can become integrated in their communities and share in the experiences of the community. Mm -hmm.